let's talk about the parallel port in this picture you can see 25 pin female parallel port these ports are used recently to connect with the printers but these days modern computers doesn't connect with the parallel port they connect with the USB port so we are free to use this parallel port to create our own peripheral devices but before talking about those peripheral devices let's see what is a parallel port is parallel port is used to transfer data one at a time in this picture you will see 25 pin female parallel port connector there are three types of pin in a parallel port mainly data status and control pins the data pin is uh, colored as yellow in this picture and they are two to nine uh, pins there are eight pins for data pins and they also call as d0 to d7 uh, these data pins used to send data to peripheral devices these blue colored pins are called as status pins they are they take inputs from peripheral devices which means that peripheral devices can send data to these ports and the CPU can recognize them these red colors pins call as control pins it means that these control pins can send or receive data at a time and these green colored pins are called as ground pins they used to uh, fulfill your circuits uh, actually the symbol is like this uh, in this pins you can send one bit at a time okay uh, you will see there are uh, several pins that are uh, bar colored as bars in their uh, numbers they are called as reversed pin it means the data that you send or receive from here will be convert to uh, another form it means in these c3 c1 0 c 0 pins if you want to send or uh, send zero bits uh, the output will be one bit if you send one bit the output will be zero and this is same as uh, these pins um, and uh, there are only uh, five status pin and eight data pins and you will uh, will ask why there aren't eight pins for status because uh, in early days the printer used only the five uh, status print and four uh, data pins to communicate other status pins aren't so uh, aren't show uh, in the motherboard because they are not needed that's why uh, this uh, s0 to s and C4 to uh, C7 aren't uh, typed okay uh, and one more thing you can see uh, okay uh, you uh, that we are talk about uh, sending data 
actually sending data in these peri uh, parallel socket means if the uh, if you want to send one bit it means actually it means in the outer world 5 volt it means if you send uh, one bit to DC go actually you will send 5 volt to the output and the other way if you send 0 bit to this uh, pin it will show 0 volt in the uh, pin it means the high or low levels in uh, bin um, binary format uh, in in here we talk about sending data to this ports by the CPU and to send data to these C, uh, ports you need a special kind of software or you need uh, programming languages to access this there are several kind of uh, programming language let's look up about